Well, now that we have a better view and a higher quality image of the lineup of some of the characters from Deadpool and Wolverine, we can now confirm tons of familiar returning faces from the X-Men franchise. So the image in question is right here where we see the Ant-Man slash Giant Man helmet opening up. Now, of course, if you just look at this, we can take note of a couple of familiar characters from previous X-Men films. The notable ones here that everybody can confirm, again, there's still a lot that we don't know. And there is a belief that they've even removed characters from this to try to keep them hidden, which I think does track. If you look at this, obviously, there's quite a few characters that should be automatically recognizable. From Toad, who was played by Ray Park, to, of course, Pyro, Lady Deathstrike. I mean, there's a lot more in here. Just look at the lineup in the above scene. The one that sticks out to me the most is, of course, Azazel. I absolutely love that character in X-Men First Class. I love Nightcrawler. So seeing him here is pretty awesome. Now, again, this just brings up the question of what is going on here, right? What direction are we heading in and what is all this about? Because the going consensus is, is that this is sort of like everything at the end of time and major characters from different universes or timelines or whatever are converging here for whatever reason that's leading into an incursion so this could be sort of like a final stand scenario in this trailer and that's how they're bringing back so many because if you guys remember after first class we found out that characters like azazel were just killed off screen because singer didn't want to use any of these characters because he didn't direct first class so it's kind of interesting to look at this and wonder, did they get, like, plucked out of time? Did they die because they disappeared, but they ended up here? Again, a lot of intrigue. And looking at this image and just trying to figure out who some of these other characters are is a little hard. But I think it's really cool and it adds this whole element of intrigue. And as I just talked about it in my breakdown and looking back at some of the elements and now looking at the new trailer, you definitely get the sense that they're trying to hide a lot. And this is sort of like your, hey, let's whet the appetite, right? Let's bring out this little, just tiny little meal. And we're going to hit them with the full course right after. You know, it's like misleading. Like, who's going to get hyped for Azazel? You know, I will. But I understand what they're doing here. And this is getting people talking. So, pretty awesome. We'll obviously talk about this more. A lot more stuff is coming. Just stay tuned.